Well, the Globex session got as low as uh, 1326. 1325 and change, and the uh, high of the Globex looks around 1336. You can see uh, that's, that's the high at 36, and that's the low with 2550, and there's our 8 period. So we're going to hang on here and see uh, what's going on in the first half an hour, hour maybe, and uh, see if we can take a position. Uh, oh, excuse me. See if we can take a position soon. Right now, it's difficult to know what's going on. There's not much uh, bias one way or the other. Having said that, I think the gap of 22 is in our sights. We're going to take the 32.75 short. 32.75 short. We got to fill the 32.50 there. Our stop is above the Globex. Um, uh, let's see. The XLF is leading the way down. Let's see where the stop is. Let's put the stop at um, 37. Well, we've been bouncing around here. Um, uh, we had an opportunity to get out of our 32 and change down in the 30 area for a couple points, and uh, but we uh, we didn't. Don't uh, don't have a whole lot of energy today. Saw a concert over the weekend. Got suntan. And uh, I don't know. I don't have a lot of enthusiasm today. This uh, opening period here, ABCD, is uh, a real tight range. So maybe the afternoon session is the one to be uh, attuned to. We'll stand by here with our... Um, well, we were actually thinking of moving our stop down a little bit, but it's only a point difference. We couldn't move it uh, any closer than the high of that bar. Up thrust was 35.50 might be able to move it to 36. Let's move it to 36. We'll move it from 37 to 36. It didn't continue the downward momentum in the uh, B, C period. It might just take the uh, Globex high out. Globex high is 36. Hmm. The only way I see tick chart is uh, not predominantly positive or negative. We're just uh, up and down, up and down. You know, let's leave our stop at 37. We're going to put our stop back at 37. In case it tests the globe X. If we get stopped out at 37 and it looks like the market's about to reverse, we can get short again. Well, we're finally moving in the right direction. We did make a double bottom with a B period, so we need to break through this area, but I think we will. We're building a uh, predominantly negative pick today now, and the XLF is uh, not leading the way, but hopefully it catches up soon. Our target on this trade is 21. We're going to take the 29.75, look for a re-entry at 29.75, and we didn't get any retracement on that at all. Oh my, oh my. We're going to go short 20.875. Sometimes that happens where you just don't get any retracement. It would be interesting to see if the uh, E-period goes down, but I didn't want to have it leave without us, so we're back short the market again. Our stop on this is, um, oh, let's see, our stop is... 34, 50, 35. Our target is the same at 21. Well, since we didn't continue breaking down, our retracements now at 50% is 31 and a quarter, 61 is 32 and a quarter, 76 is 33 and a quarter. So our stop at 35 is uh, appropriate. It looked like the uh, once we got out of our original short at 29.75, um, all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. And it uh, looked like the market was going to, you know, attempt to close the gap relatively quickly in this E-period, which it still might. We're early in the E-period, um, but we're, uh, everything's status quo here. We're going to stay with our stop, stay with our target, until something, uh, something alerts me to the different, to, the, um, to change that opinion. And here comes break. Now, let's, this is real important. Let's see, uh, building at the bid here. The market's not going any further than 28. This has to break down. These, this number can't continue to build. There's a little breakdown. 
what we don't want to see is this number and this number and this number start to build like this number over here built 28, 24, 12. If that's the case, then we could have a better probability going back up to the uh, 50, 61, or 76 retracement in the uh, low 30s. That looks like V period wants to retrace back up. Since we're not in the money a whole lot on this trade, um, I think it's probably better just to stay with it until something else becomes a little clearer. Oh, the E period rotated up into this retracement area in the um, 31.25, 32.25 area. Probably there's some volume here that could act as a cap. Um, the market looks uh, weak, the market structure. This would be a good area, I think, for a short. We already have our 2875s, so we didn't... Uh, we're not trading as, as actively as we did on Friday, but I am seeing the opportunities. I just don't uh, don't have enough, uh, I don't know, motivation here or energy to get in and out of these trades. I'm doing some other things, a little distracted today with some things, but could have made some money, a uh, couple points on these, these swings from 29, 28, and 75 up to the uh, 30 area, 30, 75. 31 and a quarter, 32 and a quarter, 61.8% retracement could be an area for a target. If you did take the 28.75s or 29s long, nice three point trade times whatever contracts you're trading. Well, today is turning out to be the same type of trading day as uh, Friday, where the uh, retracements um, are slow and moderate and um, you can really take advantage of uh, trading them if uh, you have the uh, setting and the uh, spirit. Could have got a nice trade there from the uh, 2875 where we originally sold the market up to the uh, 3175, 3150, 3125, anywhere up there. I traded lots uh, for a long time. And, uh, you know, if you trade multiple contracts, three or four contracts, it's a 9 to 12 point trade. And, uh, of course, that's a good selling area also. So. That would not only be, you know, a profit on a counter trend, but may have an initiative position on the uh, next leg down, which should take us below the uh, 27 and change. Here, it should take us below the E period low at some point. If it's after the afternoon lunch hour, you know, so be it. But we're heading toward the point of control on a 30-day distribution. So uh, that's really interesting. That's right before our 21 area at approximately 22.50, 23.50, somewhere somewhere in there. There's a good volume cluster. Actually, there's a good volume cluster from 21 to about 22.50. That's the uh, point of control. If we get any further than that, then the bottom uh, range of value on the 30-day is all the way down in the 1280s. So I think we could have uh, a test down there somewhere soon. Man, I don't like this. Uh, it looks like we're going to hit our stop, and I think the stop um, is not necessarily too close, but, you know, it's um, the entry was just wrong. And, um, you know, we're not going to buy this market or anything. You know, we'll take the loss and, uh, and wait, but I think there's a good short opportunity coming uh, probably right after we get stopped out here. The ABCD period, that's where the problem is with the stop, is... Um, you know, right here, you take it over there, just buy a tick, take, run the stops, and that's the end of that, so we'll stand by here. G period just opened up. Man, I, I can see this, I can see this stopping us out, and then moving the other direction. The, the key is, you know, do we move the stop up a little bit, or do we just get stopped down and then let the market run above the B period high and then take a short there? I'm going to pause video here and uh, let the market do its thing. Globex high is 36, so we could you know, probably get as high as 37. So you'd have to put your stop way above that, and I don't, I, you know, I don't feel like doing that. So we'll, we'll stand here with 35 stop. They were over the 76% um, retracement at 33.25, just by you know, a point or so. 
the XLF um, isn't leading the way. Not yet. Well, they didn't hit it yet, and we have to get short this market if uh, they hit it. If they hit our stop at 35, we're going to short the 35s. And um, I'm, oh, I was almost tempted to better the position and take the short up here at 34, 35 area and um, liquidate the 28s uh, down below us. But I'm not going to do that. But I will go short up here if we get stopped out. 